Yo, Don. So earlier today, you had posted on your social media page that Soulja Boy was a genius because of how he transcended from his first start in his career to now. Yes. He had a lot of people in the comments saying, pump your brakes. That word genius. For everybody in the comments. Yeah, that's all I got to say. I ain't got to go any more from there. Um, There's an entire dance to his song on TikTok right now that everybody that is on TikTok has done and it's trending all over the internet. So to everybody that's in the comments, let me go ahead and explain this here Um, because this is marketing 101 and I think that you should take Soulja Boy's uh, strategy and what he's done over the past 14, 15 years. And if we were to apply this to our businesses as entrepreneurs, we are going to win on the internet too. For those who don't know, um, let's just give a little history lesson. In May 2007, he dropped uh, Crank That, which we all know is probably one of the biggest songs in 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 history, all right? Dropped it on YouTube, am I correct? Yeah. So one of the first people to really like get like music videos and all of that out on YouTube and to really go viral on the internet as an artist and just in general. And uh, that was 14 years ago, which by the way, 14 years ago, I was 12 years old. It's 14 years later now. And my little sister now is 13 years old, right around the same. She's the same age as me. When I first heard of Soldier Boy, when he dropped his track, and she now is just now hearing the Soldier Boy now at the same exact age, fourteen years later, when he dropped, she make it clap. So I'm, I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you a crazy story. I'm in the kitchen, and uh, I'm, I'm in the kitchen. I'm making my smoothie. Uh, it was literally just this morning making my smoothie, and of course, every morning I go through TikTok because I think TikTok is one of the best platforms in the world right now for social media, when it comes to organic, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to the best content creators, when it comes to marketing your brand, best platform, I think. I I love it. So every morning, my little sister is actually the, uh, she's the TikTok. She's our TikTok content creator for Jumping Jack Tech. So her job is to go through TikTok and to look for all like, you know, like some trending sounds and different things that we can do for Jumping Jack Tax to be able to make the brand cool, right? I would suggest that for everybody. I mean, it's a great platform. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the kitchen making a smoothie and I'm just like, Draco, soldier, she make it clap, clap, clap. And then she, she's like responding and she's like, she going in on it too. And I'm like, oh, you heard of this song? She's like, yeah, it's all over TikTok. It's a trend. She's like, I sent it to you. I'm like, really? I'm like, uh, so I'm sitting back and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I asked her, I said, do you know who this artist is? Do you know who this artist is that made this song? And she's like, nah, I don't know the artist. Not that I think of. I just know the song. I know it's hot and everybody's doing it right now, doing a dance. And I'm like, yo, that's crazy. I said, that's Soldier Boy. She's like, oh, I know who he is. I heard of him before, like, you know, from, from the past, like as an artist. That was the part that got me the most was because she didn't know his name. She didn't, she didn't know his name. She didn't know how long he's been making music, his history, but she knew the sound. She knew the, she knew the song, but didn't need a face in order to identify it. But it's trending all over the place right now. That is why I say that it's genius um, for a few reasons. Number one, it's very challenging for a brand for a brand or a person to transcend from one generation to the next. Normally those that do, that's why it's called generational wealth. How is generational wealth created? Because it transcends through multiple generations. That's why it's it's challenging to do. So you got to already commend Soldier Boy. It's it's, you got to commend him as, a, as an artist for transcending over the course of 15 years from when I was 12, 13 to where now my little sister's 12, 13, and he's still able to reach the younger audiences from, from millennial to, I think it's Gen, is it Gen X or Gen Z? I, I get Gen so confused Z. by these letters. <laughs> but um, to see that is, is, is crazy. And as business owners, as entrepreneurs, that's, that's ultimately our goal as well, right? How can I, within, how can I have a brand that I created today and within the next 15 years um, still have a, a brand that people relate to? Like, how can I get the 16-year-olds today that within 15 years, they're going to be in their 30s. How can I get them to grow up with my brand so that when they're, when they're the next 30-year-olds and when they're the next adults, they're buying from me too? 
And that starts with you maturing the younger generation today to know your brand so that they can grow up with it. Right. We already grew up. We may not listen to Soldier Boy no more. We may want to listen to um to Lauren Hill. You know, we want some positive. But he was able to transcend. And we need to know how to do that as business owners and entrepreneurs. One of the ways that I'm doing that right now to give you guys a, a, a clear example, of that is the mascot with Jumping Jack Tax. As you see, mascots are so valuably important. I posted on my Instagram about uh, Tony the Tiger and how Tony has been, the Tony the Tiger has been the face of Frosted Flakes for so long. And when you walk down the aisle, you're going to pick Tony the Tiger before any other cereal because he's a cultural icon. He doesn't get old. Jumping Jack Tax is not going to get old. Jack is going to become a cultural icon. So like that's the first thing that you got to understand as a business owner. It's something that Soldier Boy did, I commend him for, is that he was able to transcend through generations. How is your business transcending through the generations right now? What are you doing from a marketing perspective in order to get there? Right? So that's that's first. Secondly, uh, the second thing that I love is 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 the innovative approach to Soldier Boy's mind. If we look back to 2007, we know again that he was one of the first people to hit the internet, like to really like go hard on the internet and put his music out on MySpace and YouTube and the dances out there, and that's how it really how he really grew very quickly. And then from there, moved into ringtones. One of the first artists to really like really make millions of dollars off ringtones. We remember that, right? Mm -hmm. So when we think about that, that's called innovation. That's called being ahead of your time, right? To develop the industry for where, for where you see it going. Him doing that, we can pull from that as business owners and we can say to ourselves, okay, in our market right now, in the business that we're in, what's going to be next or what can I create that can be the next thing, right? What can I create to be the next thing? Um, and not just not just be stuck in this box and saying this is the way it is. The leaders and the innovators are the ones who create the next type of the next the way people are supposed to live, like the way that they envision the world. Right. Like Jeff Bezos envisioned a world where everybody's packages were going to come within two business days. And in fact, that is the case today. Um, for me, with Jumping Jack Tax, I, I am I envision where. Jumping Jack Tax is not just going to be a tax company. We're taxes, we're life insurance, we're bookkeeping, we're real estate. Like I envision it to where you can walk inside of Jumping Jack Tax or come to us virtually and literally get all of your finances taken care of under one roof. Like that's what I envision for the company, right? That's where I see people's like, when younger kids grow up, they want to go one place to get all of their stuff done and they can go to one professional to do it, right? So it's the innovative approach that he brought to the industry that allowed him to create gener like transcend over generations and is what we have to do as business owners in order to uh in order to last the next 15 years and not go out of business right because most businesses don't last beyond five six seven years so what can we do in order to transcend right the next thing that i love too and i'm, I'm studying this is that uh, the, the entertainment, the entertaining side of, of Soldier Boy, right? He's not just an artist. He's an entertainer. That's a big difference, okay? Because if you look at a lot of rappers, they're not, a lot of rappers aren't entertainers, which is the reason why many of them fall off. One of my favorite, my favorite artist in the world is Drake. And of course, I will tell you that he's an entertainer. He's not just a rapper. He is a full-blown entertainer, which is why he is the best artist in the world today, in my opinion. And, and if somebody wants to argue with me, let's argue number ones, okay, right? Cool. Um, so he's an entertainer. I think that as entrepreneurs, as business owners, right, we have to learn how to not just be the CEO or not just be the founder and figure out how to be the entertainer of the brand as well. I think we're moving into a, a, a culture where entertain, well, not, not moving into a culture. Entertainment has been always, has always been the biggest thing. Van, me and you have talked a lot of times about the people who have the most followers across social media or who? Entertainers and like the comedians. Comedians, people, who, yeah, exactly. Up, if you look at every single comedian, they always have more followers. Why? Because they entertain their audience. They make them laugh. So I think that as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we need to know how to not just educate, 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 because again, it makes the brand boring, right? It's one of the things that I actually got stuck into. And I'm going to give y'all a little secret is that I got stuck into this rut of, okay, everybody wants tax gain. They want tax knowledge. And we were dropping like 
And Bianca will tell you, we were dropping so many tax videos every day, every single day, breaking down LLCs, breaking down corporations, breaking down, uh, breaking down uh, different tax laws. And that was all cool. I'm, I'm like, great. But we, we did not explode and really grow exponentially like we are today with Jumping Jack Tax until we started adding the entertainment side of it. And once that happened, we literally blew up this year because people wanted to laugh. And through laughter, they, they're being exposed to the brand. And by being exposed to the brand, they can support the brand in, in, in the way that you can, whatever offers that you have available. And I commend Soldier Boy for that as well because he knows how to garner the attention. He's an entertainer. He knows how to get people in. And by getting them in, he's able to now sell them on whatever it is that he's offering at that point. So those three, those three things right there are so valuably important that you can learn that he's done, which has allowed him to develop a 15 plus year career and still be able to connect with the younger audience. Oh, by the way, I got one more. The last one is the internet. The internet. Like, if you're not posting online right now, if, you're, if you have a business and you're not posting online enough right now, you're posting once a week. You're posting like, I, even if it's once or twice a week, if you're only doing the bare minimum, I promise you, you're losing out right now. If you look at Soldier Boy's career, he was able to, to garner so much attention is, is, and it really pushes brand name out there because he, he saw the power of the internet. Take this serious, folks. He created, like, this dude is trending on TikTok right now with 16-year-olds, 18-year-olds, and millions of millions of people are streaming his song right now on TikTok. Millions. Like, his song, I, I wouldn't be surprised. TikTok literally turns songs into number one on the Billboard charts. That's how serious that is. Like, it's not a game. If you don't take this internet thing serious and realize that you should be going all in, pouring literally a lot of your resources towards this, then you're, you're, you're going to lose because there's no way that you can compete with somebody who knows how to get millions of eyeballs on their brand in literally a matter of hours. It's no way you can compete with that if you're not doing it. It's nothing you can do. You're going to lose the business every day of the week. So every, so when these new platforms come out, listen, it's opportunity here for you to really be able to go all the way in. And I just love that Soldier does that. And as business owners, I'm learning. I'll tell you personally, I'm learning from that. And that's the reason why I'm very heavy on TikTok. I'm very heavy on Instagram right now. 10 posts a day. We're doing five, six on TikTok. We're going on YouTube. We everywhere because I realize the power of the internet and how literally millions of views can transcend into so many leads and so much brand uh, brand engagement and brand equity that's going to take you 15 years down the line. Right? It's not just about your customers that you're that you're advertising to today. It's not about your ideal customers today who may be 26 to 30 years old and they're the ones buying from you. But it's about who are going to be the next 26 to 30 year olds too that you're going to have to also pay attention to as well. Whoever can attract to them early are going to be the ones who get that business in 10 years when you, you literally are not going to be able to compete with the people who are already there. I see a ton of big brands that are on, the, that are on TikTok right now advertising because they know. So those are the, those are the four things that, I'm, that I've seen. That's why I call him a genius because if it were that, yeah, I consider somebody a genius is somebody who has done something that is completely extraordinary that nobody else has done. If it were that easy, every artist would have done it and every artist would be able to transcend like, like he's done. But as we've seen, 99% of them have not. So it's clear as day because how, how many artists can we name right now that came out around the same time as Soldier Boy? I wish I could name some. I don't remember them. For most of them, I don't. Yeah, that was that was the big T-shirt age. It was. It was. And 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 I will tell you about ninety nine percent of those artists at that time. They don't exist today. They, they they have no attention today. You know, they're not selling records today. So if it were that easy, they would have all been here today in two thousand twenty one. But they're not. So that's why I consider him a genius for it. He's clearly done something great with his career and on top of that has done it independently too, for the most part. He's been signed before, but now he's independent. So imagine how much challenging that is. And if you're, an, and again, if you're a business owner, entrepreneur, you're independent, you don't have any outside resources that are being poured in from outside investors and different things. All you got is yourself and you have to put all of your resources and you have to maximize off of every opportunity. You have to use the internet to your advantage. You have to make sure that you're innovating. You got to like, 
listen, that's that's what you got to do as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. Nothing's going to be given to you. And I'm going to be honest with you. Last thing I'll say to wrap this thing up is this. When you move into entrepreneurship, Bradley Bill says something really important, Van. I sent you the video. Bradley Bill was talking to a group of high schoolers and he said, yo, if you want to go to the NBA, there's only 400 slots available. And out of those 400 slots available, I can almost guarantee you that you're not going to take my job. And Bradley Bill, by the way, is one of the best scorers in the league today. He said, you're not taking my job. And he said, here's the funniest part, the craziest part about it is that None of y'all are better than me right now. None of y'all can guard me. And he's talking to high school kids. None of y'all can guard me. Y'all going to have to play against people like me. So if you are literally wasting time right now and you say you want to get to the NBA, but you can't compete with somebody like me when there's like literally three, four hundreds of, of me that are going to be on that court that are beast mode, bro, you're not going to make it. And I'm just, I'm being honest with you. If you want into entrepreneurship, you got to face somebody like me. And I'm, I'm young into entrepreneurship, 26 years old. There's 40, 50 year olds, 60 year olds that got way more money, way more resources, way, a way big, way larger team, way more experienced people. But that's just take me and his name. You're going to get somebody like me that eats, sleeps, and breathes this. You feel me? Like every day, 5 o'clock a.m. to 11 o'clock p.m. Like this is not a game. So if you're not, if you're not really ready to do that, you, you're not going to get that business because you're going to have to compete against somebody like me and I'm not going to let you beat me. <laughs> it's simple. I'm not going to let you beat me. So take this and take that, take that story, take those examples to really, to really, yo, turn it up. You want to create generational wealth. You want to transcend, turn it up. Look at what the people are doing that are around you that have done it before and start acting immediately.